Look at you. Are you in the boat? Are you in the boat? Uh oh. Face your anxiety. I did it. We super got right now. I know. I, I went and did it. Folks, what you're about to see is something that to me is almost miraculous. A little over a week ago, I was working in another part of the office and I was called in to see this baby who, wanted, who was probably gonna be hospitalized. At that point, had not gained weight in five months. Somewhat lethargic, they couldn't feed this baby. That's a crisis situation with a baby that was slightly floppy. That's a slam dunk. Almost any pediatric person is gonna say hospitalized for failure to thrive, meaning you can't get this baby to gain weight. I mean, it's just not a condition to mess around with. So I walk in, and what I saw was a baby that was engaged, but, you know, kind of weak, but definitely engaged. It didn't feel like it was a 911 crisis. And mom shared that they would rather not go to the hospital, they'd rather do whatever they can do. So I thought, hmm, okay. We had, it was a weekend coming up, we talked about all the feeding issues, and we have a body worker who works with our practice, specializes with babies who have feeding issues, and I thought, you know, it's a long shot. As a pediatric provider, pediatrician, mainstream, trained, I do integrative medicine, but I was not thinking we were gonna get much out of a, you know, pediatric bodywork massage kind of evaluation. Boy, did I get my eyes opened. This baby, I believe, now we're gonna go find out, because I haven't actually seen what happened in the past week, but I believe we've had a massive turnaround. So let's go see. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Are you just trying to see a go peekaboo so we don't get stranger anxiety? Yeah, he's been getting a lot of that like clingy peek mom peek behavior. You go make me work for it. All right, when we saw you just over a week ago, yeah, he was floppy, he wasn't sitting up, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, he, and, he was, and he's now definitely he's lethargic. Crawling. He's he crawling, he wasn't able to keep hardly anything down. Yeah, the only thing he was keeping down was his oatmeal here and there. Yeah, uh, but then that next night, he had the massage with uh, Zadidi, yeah, and um, we went home. And the next day, he seemed a lot better, he really improved kind of overnight. Awesome. And he had uh, started keeping down his meals. Hi, buddy. Almost to the point where I think I overfed him a little yeah. bit that day. So I tried like Hi. a fifth meal because we had broken the two bigger meals into two. So he was getting four smaller meals, mm -hmm. four ounce meals. I don't know how much it was, was the massage or just, you know, just good timing. Well, but he hadn't it gained weight in yeah. five months. It, yeah, it definitely improved. Right? So yeah. that was the bigger issue. I mean, yes, he was sick, but he hadn't gained weight in five months. You can pick him up. Um, yeah, he's definitely doing better. And we have to turn that around yeah. permanently, right? Great. And get a permanent kind of at least an ounce a day weight gain. Okay. Is sort of our goal at this point, which you've done, and then yeah. some. Yeah. I'm sure. Hi. Hey. Hi, precious. I just ate two pounds. So oh. He may throw up. He <laughs> That's okay. Too. But he's doing great. You didn't so want can that say shirt hi. No, <laughs> this is, I've changed shirts twice already. Okay, so Hi, sweetie, how are you? Hi, hey. hey, mama. Hi, buddy. Okay, some Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, you remember me? <laughs> yeah. So this is my second session with Brock and what I'm doing is just kind of start all, any, everybody needs touch. Everyone, just that nice, sweet skin to skin contact is awesome. And so with Brock, last time when I worked on what we're trying to do is get the tension that's in the body to let go, to get him to relax. So like last time that helped with getting him to, allowing him to eat. When we get really tight, hi, hi, yeah. Mama's right there, mama's right there. Um, so actually, if you want to follow my fingers here, this is where um, the vertebral spine is. And on either side are the spinal muscles. These get really tight, and especially with this little guy, 
Oh, you're gonna stand up and show them your back? Here we go. Mm -hmm. So actually, you can see if you were to come around this way, you can see where his spinal development is a little different from one side to the next. It's super minor, but what that does is that pulls and you can see the vertebral spine has a little bit of curvature. It's nothing to worry about or be concerned about. We're just paying attention to making sure that that doesn't become an issue down the road. As he grows, if we keep all these <laughs> muscles relaxed, then he grows into correct posture versus if he stays really, really tight and we don't pay attention to it, he, the spine will start to curve even more. And in the later years can develop things like lordosis, scoliosis, kyphosis. So we're working, you can kind of see all that. He's, thank you for being thin enough that he can see all this, sweetie. <laughs> so I'm just real m super duper soft, superficial touch. The myofascial tissue is what we focus on with little guys this young. I'm just working and relaxing. What's really cool at this age is that if it feels good, they let me do it. If something yeah. isn't okay, he'll let me know. He's very relaxed. Yeah. Last time you just fell asleep in my arms while <laughs> I worked on you. Yeah. There are too many people today. Too many people. <laughs> Lots of too many. Yeah. yeah. Who's that guy? What's he doing? So just both anterior and posterior, I'm just working on getting those muscles to react to just really minor stimulation. What I do with him just depends on, one, how I'm holding him, what he needs. Last time he was really tight, so holding him in my arms, I was able to put my fingers on either side. And when he was relaxed, when he's not up, are you checking everybody <laughs> out? I was able to put my fingers on either side of the spine and just gentle stimulation. And that's what got him last time. Just that real gentle stimulation up and down his spine allowed him to fall asleep and deeply relax. And when he woke up, he was a different kid. Happy, yep. ready to feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah ready to so feed. he's fed better this last week, hasn't he? Very, very much better. Yeah. It was almost yeah. the day that we got back. So yeah. the next morning, started yeah. eating well. And yeah. yeah. And he was completely relaxed when he left, too. I think that was the thing, even for mm -hmm. me, not just meeting him and just working on him. He just collapsed into my arms and let me work on his entire spine and just seemed different even when we put him in the car seat. Yeah. And being able to explain things, too. Not every parent knows um, in a car seat what's you know, what's supportive, what's not supportive, ways to s support a kiddo, mm -hmm. ways for them to sleep or not to sleep that might cause tension. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so folks, the challenge here is we had a kid, classic what we call failure to thrive, where you've gone several months not gaining weight. Mm -hmm. And the normal workup for that is a hospitalization, many days, every test under the book. And um, I mean, it can be a serious condition. It often is, but this is a really unique situation where with body work and education mm -hmm. and an awesome team, right? You didn't want to go to the hospital, so you're no. motivated. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Not maybe a combination of a lot of factors. We're going to have more follow-up to, mm -hmm. to prove that indeed, uh, you know, one amazing week of a pound of weight gain in seven days, although we just had a very big feeding right now. So, but yeah. it's at least a half a pound. It's at least an ounce yeah. a day, which is awesome. We have a pound of weight gain in a week. We're just going to see what happens with close follow-up and you're going to see the rest of this story as it unfolds. We will, you know, give you updates, but if this actually works, now here's the doubting Thomas. Oh, that's me. I'm Dr. Thomas. <laughs> um, I've never had a situation where body work was kind of that final thing that really turned things around. So we're going to see. Uh, I'm very hopeful because this is a different baby today. Uh, a week later, mm -hmm. uh, we would be just getting out of the hospital and possibly with a feeding tube. And we've got a happy baby that's got good tone, that's gaining weight. And uh, you avoided a hospitalization and hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's right. Yeah. So uh, we're going to still work on feeding, making sure we're getting the right nutrition we need, and uh, close follow up. And then uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.